Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another video out on the hunt with your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. Today is February the 23rd. It is a Thursday. It is a wet one. It is raining. It is cold. And I love it. <laughs> I always sleep really good when it's nice and cold, especially when it's raining. We'll always love this kind of weather, especially being a big guy, as I am. I'm pretty fluffy, so always love the colder side of the year. I can't stand the heat in the summer, especially last summer. It was hot as balls. It was hot as balls. But anyways, let's get into the finds of the day. I hit up a few places... Didn't really have much luck. I didn't really find anything out of this world. But I did find some stuff. I found some items that definitely had a little bit of meat on the bones today. And um, I did end up at Book Off. I just got out of the Book Off. Did I score inside the Book Off? I found something in there. It's pretty rare. I found one time before. And I got all excited. I got all excited. And I was like, please, please be very cheap. Hopefully catch them slipping. But I'll tell you about that later. First, let's get over into... I went to several Goodwills. Several Goodwills. Uh, Desert. Uh, no, not Desert. Went to Amvet Thrift Store. Went to a Goodwill. Went to another Goodwill. And I went to another good one. I finally found two items. First thing that I found, every time I find these, these, these seem to sell pretty quickly. And uh, there's one over at a particular Goodwill that there's like a three pack. And they only want like, I think six bucks for all three of them. And for whatever reason, they don't go for much. But just one of them alone, one of the movies alone, it sells for 10 bucks plus shipping all day. So I found a single copy the uh, the the case, the DVD case, they're all wrinkled up. I've never found one that is in great shape. Don't know why it is. Cheap package. Maybe they sat in a box that was uh, were in a room where the temperatures was really hot and wrinkled all the cases. But I have yet to come across a clean case. They all have wrinkles in them. But they still sell. And that is a Western called Lonesome Dove. I think this is like the third one I found in the last three months. Something like that. Brand new factory sealed. Should really get about 10 bucks plus shipping. Got uh, Robert Duvall, Tommy Lee Jones, El Angelica Houston. Apparently it's a good one. Not too many Westerns are, uh, you know, there's a lot of good Western movies, but not too many really go for anything. Usually if you find a Western, they don't go for much, especially like all the John Wayne movies. But uh, going up on a base, should we get 10 bucks? Should sell pretty quickly. Should sell really quickly. Uh, the next thing I found, I found a like two other box sets. I ended up only picking up one because this one seemed to be in the best shape and the one that was worth the much or the most. The other ones, one was missing a disc, and the other one, there was a disc rattling in one of the cases. So I just passed on that one. So I did pick up one. I have found these in the past before. There's a whole bunch of different volume sets. This one is volume three. Goodwill had a mark for $5.99. So six bucks, and I should be able to even use. Get close to 15 bucks. 12 to 15. Should be able to double my money. And uh, I'm kind of torn because the seal is, the plastic still on the box. There is a slit on the side where you can slide the DVDs out. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it on there or not. But that is a uh, Warner Olin is, I think that's his name. Warner Olin is Charlie Chan. See these all the time. Some of them go for quite a bit of money charlie chan if you ever come across it definitely check them out if you see like discs out all alone you won't see any upc codes no barcodes because they usually came in a box set they didn't sell individually they came in volume box sets but yeah like i said this the plastic is still sealed the box is in pretty good shape but there's a slit right here so you could easily take the disc out so i'm assuming whoever owned these obviously was very uh neat and and took care of their physical media leaving the plastic to protect the box but uh 
Let's see if I can get one out. I think I can squeeze one out, hopefully, without damaging anything. That's in there pretty good. I don't know. Maybe none has ever come out. I don't know. If I can get one out, I can get the rest out. Ah! I don't know. Maybe these have not seen the light of day, have not been played. I don't know. I don't know. Can't seem to get it out. It looks like you could squeeze it out, but uh, I can't seem to get it loose. Get it loose. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste your time I'm trying to loose it. Oh, 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 oh. I think I got one. I think I got one. I think I got the one. I'm trying to get the one in the middle, right where the slit is at. Can I get it out? Almost there. Almost there. You can do it. Whew. This one is Warner, Ola, and Charlie Chan on Broadway. On Broadway. It's complete. Complete. Let's check the disc. Beautiful. Beautiful. First one. She better get the other three out now. Yeah, I do believe this is brand new because it still has like a uh, little pamphlet in here. Charlie Chan yeah, pamphlet. So I don't think this has been played. I think this is actually brand new sealed. From Costco, originally 1999, brand new. There's the second one. This one is... Uh, Charlie Chan in the Black Camel. This is the uh, Cinema Classics Collection. Every time I come across these, I always take a look because sometimes they're worth some money. Beautiful, beautiful. These are definitely, definitely in new shape. I don't think these have been played. For whatever reason, they opened it up. Yep, great shape. This one is Charlie Chan. Uh, what is it? Warner. Can't read it. Charlie Chan Secret. Okay. Charlie Chan Secret. And the last one. Oh, there's another insert in here. Oh, that's a security sticker. In case you're trying to walk out of the store with it. All right. And the last one. Charlie Chan at Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo looks like. Maybe some gambling involved at a casino. This is a double-sided disc. Double-sided disc. And I think I'm seeing some fingerprints on it. Oh, oh this is very disappointing. Very disappointing. This one has definitely been out of the case. There is a... I wouldn't say it's a deep scratch, but there's definitely a scratch all along at least half of the disc and several others on the other side ah uh, this is a bummer right here bummer oh gosh i don't know just probably just gonna sell it as good probably just be lucky and get my money back yeah well anyways that looks like that was a bust Let's get on over to the good old book off. So far, it's been pretty crappy, except for the one. Uh, I didn't find anything else uh, except for what could have been, or except for uh, items that were in the $2.50 section. Uh, the one item that I did find inside there that I was hoping to catch him slipping was a movie that I found once before, several years ago, called gummo which i found at a salvation army for two bucks they usually go for 30 to 35 dollars sometimes 40 they had a marked over here at book off for 50 bucks 50 bucks movie called gummo but uh i did not pick that up but i did pick up three more titles three movies at least now one of them is a tv show uh the tv show this apparently was on mtv this is season one called human giant 
uncensored two disc set with over two and a half hours of bonus features. Human Giant. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Two disc set. I did check these out. The uh, the movie, the disc right here, the movie is in great shape. The uh, the bonus features, going to have to clean it up a little bit. Some light scuffs, going to have to clean it up. But it looks like I should be able to get right around 10 to 12 bucks. Pay 250 Definitely some meat on the bone. And then uh, the next one that I grabbed is a movie. I've never seen or heard of it before. It looks like an older flick. I don't know what it was marked before, but they marked it down. Picture with a fright break. Okay. Movie called Homicidal. The story of a psychotic killer. Homicidal. Homicidal. Cover looks cool. Chick's got a knife in her hand. Got the back right there. $2.50. This is complete. With insert disc is actually in great shape, so pretty happy about that. Definitely going up on the bay. It's in great shape, and I should be able to get right around ten bucks. Ten bucks going up on the bay, and then the last thing that I found this was brand new, factory sealed. Had I found this a couple years ago, these were going for quite a bit of money. Nowadays, they ain't worth much at all. This movie came out a long time ago, won a bunch of awards. This is, and I never came across this set before. This is a big box set, DVD, a collector's edition of Gone with the Wind. Had I found this a couple years ago, I could have probably got anywhere from 70 to 100 bucks or more. Now, I'll be lucky to get 10 bucks. Be lucky to get 10. Gone with the Wind. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Picked it up anyways. Going up on the bay. Nice big box set. Collector's edition. That's all I got today. Did not really find a heavy hitter, which always sucks. But anyways, that happens, and that's going to do it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Can't promise it, but we will try. We will hope, and we will find out tomorrow. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.